Hello, my name is Malte Schäfer. I'm first principal violist in the Philharmonic State Orchestra in Mainz, Germany. One of the oldest professional ensembles in the world with a history of more than 509 years in the year of 2023 this year. I made a video two years ago with the title Are Carbon Fiber String Instruments Good Enough for Professional Use? And to my surprise, this video was clicked about 25,000 times in the English and the German version together. So I decided, from my today's view, to make a follow-up video to describe you and explain to you my opinion about carbon fiber instruments today and why I did change completely to play exclusively only on my Lewis and Clark viola, solistically in chamber music, but especially also in orchestra use. So please stay tuned if you are interested in that. Uh, after this short introduction, I will give you 10 reasons why I only play carbon fiber instruments. <laughs> I think at the moment I'm the only principal orchestra musician in Europe that uh, plays exclusively on a carbon fiber instrument. So I use only this instrument and I sold all my wooden violas and I will give you 10 reasons why I did so. The first reason is a very personal one. My wooden viola was a very huge one built by the American-Japanese luthier Hiroshi Izuka. I loved it a lot. I, think, I still think that for the cost, um, for the price that it cost, it was one of the best sounding violas that I know. But it was very, very big. So whenever I switched from this viola to the quite small-sized um, Lewis and Clark carbon fiber viola, I had slightly problems with the intonation, especially because here, as you see, the neck part goes here very soft into the body. So you don't have this step that you usually have on a um, wooden viola. So it made a lot of problems to me when entering the third and the fourth position. So every time that I switched from one instrument to the other, I had to play a few minutes arpeggios and scales to really play 100% in tune. This is a personal thing, of course. The first real reason why I recommend this viola is uh, the ideal relation between the size of its body and the profundness and loudness and volume of its sound. So it's a very, very comfortable to play quite small viola. On me it nearly looks like a violin because I'm two meters tall and um, it has a very very huge sound so by playing solos or chamber music or even solo concerts with uh, um, orchestra I always come through. I have no problems because the tone is very carrying up to the third balcony in the state opera. I never had a problem in uh, being heard. Yeah. So, and I do like also the sound uh, and the quality of this viola. The second uh, reason why I recommend it uh, is also a kind of personal one because of the material and the size of the instrument. It's much more lightweight than most of the bigger wooden violas. So that brings me to the third reason. Since I play that, especially in combination with this Swiss shoulder rest system called Dolphinos, I have no problems anymore with pain in my shoulders or in my left arm, uh, which I had a lot uh, when I played bigger instruments especially after long operas like Wagner or Strauss. The fourth reason is uh, something that might sound funny in the beginning because I do think that on the long run a carbon fiber fiddle 
is much more environment friendly than a wooden one. Of course, I do know that carbon fiber in the production process is not really environment friendly as a fabric, but uh, what is which is not used on these instruments is any kind of tropical wood. So a classical instrument has an ebony fingerboard and mahogany uh, chin rest, mahogany uh, tailpiece, whatever. And as you know, sometimes they cut down a whole forest in the Amazonas region just to find one ebony tree. So I think in these days of the 21st century, if you have an alternative to that, then you should use the alternative instead of cutting down forests uh, just to find one tropical wood. That brings me to the fifth reason, because there is no tropical wood involved in this instrument, it's very easy to travel with it, so you will never have problems on borders or at customs, and this is becoming more and more important, especially in the European Union, they wanted to um, have new laws that every instrument that used tropical wood had to be registered, otherwise you were not allowed to travel with it worldwide anymore. So this is becoming more and more important, you won't have any problems with these instruments. The sixth reason why I recommend definitely this instrument is you will have never any problems uh, in humidity, weather or climate change. This just doesn't affect a carbon fiber instrument. So you can change from 30 degrees to zero degrees and from 120% of humidity into an airplane which is so dry that you uh, normally have problems with cracks or at least the string comes down or whatever, this instrument is not affected by that at all. I can even leave it in the trunk of my car when it's outside 20 degrees minus Celsius and you can get it in, uh, out there in the next morning and it will still be in tune. So it's absolutely reliable if it comes to these conditions. The seventh reason why I, as a professional musician, really recommend uh, this instrument is that you have nearly no follow-up costs in repair. So since I play this instrument, since a couple of years already, the only thing that I've ever did is changing the strings and adjusting the sound post. There was no other major repair necessary. So um, the sound post adjustment is something which is really important for this viola as well as it is for wooden viola. So it makes a huge difference in the quality of the tone. So if you buy a carbon fiber viola, find yourself a luthier who is specialized in also sound post adjustment on carbon fiber instruments because it really makes a huge difference. The eighth reason why I recommend uh, playing carbon fiber instrument for professional musician is um, it's super good for touring and especially of course for open air concerts so it doesn't matter if the sun burns down or if it starts to uh, rain yeah this instrument is even waterproof so it really is not affected by any kind of uh, uh, condition so it's very very good for traveling and it's of course also not as heavy to carry the ninth reason is due to the fact that there is, especially in Europe, very little until now of these kinds of instruments. I do think that it's no big danger that it's going to be stolen. And in case it should be stolen, it's probably very easy to find again, because there's just not a lot of them. The tenth reason, and this is by far for me personally, the reason why I really decided uh, to sell my wooden viola and only play exclusively on my carbon fiber viola is that it's so solid and reliable. So um, I had an accident with this viola a couple of months ago. I entered the pit of the state opera and I had to move with not, let's say, ideal light conditions from one podium to the next to enter my seat, uh, which is, as you know, uh, directly beneath the conductor as a principal violist. So I had to 
climb from one podium from the jelly to another podium and I misstepped. So I really stepped into a gap between two podiums and that was about uh, 50 centimeters high and so I fell and uh, I'm two meters so I fell completely and I'm not a lightweight guy and I landed on my viola. So any wooden instrument would have been completely damaged. So damaged that I do think it would have been impossible to glue it together again and to repair it. And the only thing on this instrument that was damaged was the wooden bridge. So the whole body was intact and there was not even one scratch. So the, the whole surface was absolutely marvelous. And even though a colleague who tried to help me up again stepped on the neck of the viola with his foot, nothing happened to it. So that is really for me that was an initial, let's say, situation where I thought, wow, this is really reliable. This is really a solid instrument. This is going to last. So that was the situation where I was uh, really sure that I wouldn't uh, play on my wooden instrument anymore and I decided to play only exclusively on my Lewis and Clark. I hope that these 10 reasons were somehow convincing to you. Um, if you liked that video I would really be happy if you give me a thumb up. Uh, of course you can also uh, choose an abonnement of this channel and you'll find a lot of videos uh, where I play on that instrument and I also um, put in the description a link where I play the Glasenov LG on that instrument so you can have an impression how it sounds and I really thank you for your patience to listening to this video <laughs>